Hi guys and welcome back to Jojo's Corner slash Skina the Jojo. If you're new to my channel, hello, how are you? If you're not new to my channel, welcome back. Today, we're coming back with more makeup. Yes, more makeup. If you want to know what I used to create, this easy quick makeup look and the rest of the looks in the video, then keep on watching. <laughs> Okay, so before I tell you which palette I used to create the makeup look, I wanted to take some time to show you, admire these um, girls. It's day number six, seven, and the, um, they still look pretty, pretty amazing. So let me show you what palette I use to create the makeup look. I use the Conspiracy Palette, yes, I did. This has been the most anticipated um, soul palette in a long, long time. I love, love, love this packaging. You can feel it. It has texture to it. The spiraling, the letters, everything just goes so good together. Let's open this baby. And here we have it. This Honestly, to me, this is like a piece of art. You can tell that they put so much time and effort and, and all the thinking and all the everything um, Shane and Jeffrey want everything to be just perfect. And I think all the hard work reflects on this. Let me take it out of the packaging. You know, Jeffrey Star is iconic from having this kind of clips on, the, on his palette. And I think... This is just amazing. Um, I like the packaging, as you can see. It's not like your regular um, palette. This kind of resembles a little bit um, to the Blue Blood um, palette. Of course, the Blue Blood is just like, looks like a nice coffin. You can tell um, it's something, again, that they put a lot of work um, to make sure this was perfect. Now, let me open this and show you the inside of course like all jeffree stars this has a big mirror now one thing different is that this have the actually the jeffree star logo on one side and then the shane dawson logo on another side but look at this let me turn it upside down look at this beautiful palette look at this beautiful 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 colors it is just amazing amazing it goes from your neutrals that you can do an everyday look that you can use um, even to go to work. And then you got the rest of the palettes. Look, the details on the palette. You have a pig, you have um, a can, you have the logos. Like everything is just so, so, so perfect. And I'm so glad that I was able to get a hold of this palette. Now, I've been having this, this palette for about a week now, and I was supposed to work on it uh, last week. But I was waiting for the mini controversy to get to arrive. Unfortunately, um, two weeks in, the mini controversy has not, not shipped yet, but I didn't want it to hold up anymore, and I wanted to see what I can come up with. As you guys know, I'm not a makeup artist. I'm far from it. But I was very intrigued to know what can I come up with using this amazing palette um and nothing let's stop with the talking and let's see what can i come up with using the shane johnson and jeffrey star um conspiracy palette okay so the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use this main choice clip and i'm going to clip my curls back i'm thinking about going with the same shade which is this one um pigment and I'm going to apply that using a Morphe 456 and I'm going to apply that right on top of my eyelid pigment is there baby Jeffree Star um eyeshadows don't ever disappoint me Now, 
using the this morphe m222 i'm gonna go into this shade it's like a dark burgundy it's kind of like a burgundy but through the purple um more towards the purple it's called not a, not a fact and i'm going to dip a little bit and i'm going to place it right in my outer corner I'm going to go back to the Morphe 456 and I just want to make sure everything is nice and flat. Now I'm going to take this Morphe 124, which is a small flat brush, and I'm going to dip into this shade called Trisha. It's a nice pink. And I'm going to place that on my lid. This Trisha shade has a little bit of fallout. I don't know if you guys can see it right here. Very, very little. Now I'm gonna go back to the shade, not a fact, which it was the purple. And I'm just gonna make sure that this is nice and blend together. Now I'm going to um, do my wing. I'm gonna use this Hank and Henry eyeliner. It's just black eyeliner. Very, very simple look. Only using three colors from the palette. Cute, but simple. Now I'm gonna do my other eye off camera and I'm applying my lashes, finish the rest of my face, and I'll be back so we can finish our eye look. Okay guys, and I'm back. A good lash always complements the look. Um, the lashes that I'm using are these kids lashes from the Triple Push-Up Collection. These are a 3D volume lash. The name is Brassier. I don't know if you guys can see it right here. They are super long and I really like it. I actually didn't have no issues at all putting on these lashes for the first time in forever. But yeah, that's that. Now let's finish the eye look. For my bottom lashes, I'm going to go back to the shade um, Not A Fan, which is that burgundy, almost purple. And I'm going to apply this very, very close to my waterline. And now with, with the same brush, which is a Morphe 456 that we used to blend that first shade called Pigment, I'm going to take a little bit on the tip of the brush and I'm going to just make sure um, that shade is blend with this um, Not A Pig, with this pink shade. Just a little bit on the tip of my nut, the, the brush. So now I'm going to take my Better Than Sex Mascara and I'm going to apply it to my lower lashes very, very carefully. <laughs> now for my lips, I am not sure. I have over here this um, Violet Voss um, Lippy Liquid Lipstick in the shade Naughty, which I had used before and I'm absolutely obsessed. But I also have over here the um, Wet n Wild um make a last liquid cat suit high shine lipstick but i think i'm going to go with the violet boss and that's it now let's get this hair down and this is the completed look i know it's a look very simple now um, I do, as you guys know, I am not a makeup artist. I'm not considering myself a makeup artist. I feel like I'm just learning. But this probably has such a variety of, of colors that I didn't want to do um, nothing crazy. Um, I want um, 
the people that follow me and that want to learn just like I'm learning to be able to see the true potential of this palette. You don't only need to create something like full of colors. You can do something simple like this. Very, very simple but at the same time, super cute. Um, so to all of those that follow me that want to buy the palette, you will not be disappointed. Now, we're going to do another look. So, stay tuned. Okay, so for the next look, we're going to go over here to this shade, My Pills. And I got over here a Farrah 35E. And I'm going to take a little bit of that shade. And I'm going to apply that all over my eye. It's going to be like our base. Now with this True Beauty brush, I'm going to go to the shade right here it says, that is called What's the T. And I'm going to apply that all top of my lid. And I'm just doing tapping motions. And I'm just blending that in. Tapping and then blending. Add a little more, especially to this area right here, to the inner part, because I feel like you can see it a lot on this side, but on the other side, it's like, it's not really there what I wanted them to be. Tapping and then blending. Now with a small brush, I got this um, brush from um, BH Cosmetic number nine. I'm going to go to the shade, uh, my right is here, which is uh, black. And very, very carefully, I'm going to apply that to the outer corner of my of my eye i'm just taking very very little just dip in there one time tap the excess and as you can see is has a lot of pigment and i'm just tapping that into my outer corner And I'm just trying to drag it a little bit out. I'll take a little more, just one little dip. It's there. Now I'm going to go back to the same um, True Blend brush that I had. And I'm going to take a little bit and I'm going to try to blend that black. with the shade was T that black that black is like BAM I didn't put no more um eyeshadow I'm just whatever's in the brush I'm just kind of like going over it That shade is like poof. Now I'm going to find me a flat brush. I'm going to take this tiny Morphe 152, which is very, very tiny. And without wetting my brush, I'm going to take this shade right here called Illuminati, <laughs> which is a nice um, green. And I'm just going to apply this all over my lid. And there you have it. I do. I'm going to go back just a little bit. And I didn't add no extra product to the brush. Just gonna make sure everything nice and blend. And now I'm going to finish the other side of camera. I'm going to apply my falsies and I'll be back. Okay, so here's how we're looking so far. 
these eyelashes are from um bh cosmetics this actually they just came up with well actually like two months ago they came up with lashes um this is the style m204 and they're super easy to apply normally i always tell you guys that i have a really hard time applying on lashes well the band is like super 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 thin so it was very easy to apply i was actually very impressed now to finish your look, I'm going to take this um, Moda Pro BMX 498, it's an angle brush, and I'm going to go to the shade, my right is here, which is that black, and I'm going to apply this very, very close to my waterline. Just a little tap, just a little dab. Again, super close to my waterline. Now, I am going to take this Morphe 506, which it looks like that, and I'm going to go dab into the shade West T. And with a little bit of that, I'm going to blend it right on the tip with the shade my right is here that we just applied. Just make sure everything nice and bland. and blend because I'm not going to add um, no um, eyeliner. Now once again I'm going to go back to my Too Faced mascara and I'm going to apply that to my lower lashes. Now for our inner corner we're going to take this Luxie 141 which looks like this and I'm going to dip into the shade Conspiracy which is a nice um, green it's a lighter green and i'm going to place that right in the inner corner of my eye for my brow bone i'm going to take this uh bh cosmetic number eight and i'm going to dip into the shade ranch just a little dab and i'm going to apply right under my brow bone Now for lips, what are we going to use for lips? I'm thinking about going with this Ofra. The shade is Verona, which is a nude. You know, I'm all about nudes. Mm, no, let me see what else I got into my collection that is a little bit more brownish. But instead, I decided to go, I decided to go with this NYX um, liquid lipstick in the shade Downtown Beauty. Not to say my phrase, I'm going to use this ColourPop setting spray let's put our hair down one more time and there you have it look number two again something easy nothing crazy um something that you can i mean i don't think you can go to work like this but you can definitely go out on a date or you can just you um what do you guys think look number two again super simple super easy something that is not nothing like crazy um actually everything kind of matched my nails uh -huh. nice and green and using what three four shades so now that's look number two let's move on to look number three and our final look okay for our final look we're going to focus on this top row. We're going to do something more on the neutral side. And I'm going to start with this shade right here called Diet Root Beer, which is a nice um, brown. And I'm going to apply that all right on top of my lid. And to apply that, I'm using this um, Moda Pro 420 brush. And I'm just doing tapping motions. I'm going from the inner corner all the way to my outer corner, kind of dragging that all the way out. Okay, so that's that.
and taking this fair brush size three i'm going to go into this famous shade called tenacon and i'm going to apply that right on top of the uh, diet root beer and i'm just going to do tapping motions i'm gonna tap it and then just blend it this shade root beer looks so beautiful on other people I would say light skin people. Unfortunately, in my skin complexion, you can hardly see it, but that is okay. See how everything is blending nice and evenly. I'm going to take this um, Morphe one to four which is a smaller fat flat brush and i'm going to go to this shade right here called just a theory and we're going to use the small um morphe m one to four which it looks like that and i'm going to apply that on my lid oh this is so pretty kind of wish i could do it with my fingers but I have long nails. So that, yeah, we all know that's not gonna work. The good thing about these eyeshadows is the fact that you don't need to wet your brush in order for them, for you to be able to see all the pigment or to be able to see how they perform. Now I actually want to use uh, this shade right here called, um, called Spiraling, which is like a dark brown. So what I'm going to do, but it has a little bit of shimmer to it. So I'm going to use this Morphe 506 and I'm going to dab a little bit in it. And I'm just going to add that to the outer corner. Just to give a little bit more depth to the eye. If you want, of course, you can just leave Tenacon and just finish the eye with Tenacon. I just like, I feel like my eye look better when it looks, when I do like that darker shade on the outer corner. I think it's just, just preference. This shade is so beautiful. I'm definitely going to use my Hank and Harry eyeliner. I'm going to do a small wing. Nothing big, nothing too crazy. Simple. And there you have it. Now I'm gonna do my other eye. Off camera, I'm going to apply my lashes and we'll be back to finish this last look. Okay, so here's your look. For a waterline, I'm going to take this Morphe 3 to 6, it's very small, and I'm going to go to the shade is Spiraling. And I'm going to add it very close to my waterline. Run it through. And then I'm going to take this uh, Moda Pro 402, and I'm going to go back to the shade Diet Root Beer, and I'm going to blend everything. Now for the inner corner of our eyes, we're gonna use this Luxie 141, and we're going to go to the shade Ranch, and we're going to place it right in the inner corner. Drag it a little bit up and a little bit down. That shade right there is everything. Give us that nice pop. That nice, oh, we're here. Now with the same brush and whatever is left on it, I'm just gonna drag it on my brow bone. Or should I say under my brow bone? 
that's just the extra left on the brush like i said now we're gonna do or bear in the sex mascara to our bottom lashes and to complete the look what do you think we need we need some lipstick for our lips we're gonna use this ColourPop liquid lipstick it's called mess around Not bad, huh? Now we're gonna set everything using my ColourPop setting spray. <sighs> now let's let this hair loose. Oh, before I forget, the lashes that I have on are another lashes for uh, BH Cosmetic. These are the style N105. They're um, very natural, just a little long, but I think I like them because again, it's a super thin band and they're super easy to apply. Now, this is the final look using the Shane Johnson and Jeffree Star Conspiracy Palette. Um, we used quite some of the colors, but we still got some other left. If you're interested on seeing any more looks, please let me know in the comment down below. Also, let me know which one is your favorite look which one is your look that um you do or you could do for go to work or even something quick like i said i wanted to keep it simple because a lot of people that um watch my videos they are not um they're learning just like i am once again let me know which one is um your favorite look um if you're gonna grab this palette when it becomes available again um and nothing i think this is it for today uh three looks one video if you want to see more more um looks maybe more colorful looks please let me know in the comment below um and don't forget if you like the video give it a video thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel and you like what you see hit the subscribe button don't forget if you like what you see share the love share the love um and nothing this is it for this amazing palette if you have not grabbed this uh if you were not able to grab it when it goes back in stock you definitely should it is definitely worth the headache worth the weight and worth the money um the pigment is is very pigmented it's the colors are so easy to blend it has some amazing amazing shades that you can just play with um even if you just started to like makeup um there is a lot of um cute shades that you can play with and you know you can come up with your own look like i always said you can never go wrong with makeup and this is one of those um if you don't like something um just start over <laughs> wipe down your um eye and just start over that that's um very easy to do don't get discouraged just because you see that it's very colorful because you don't know how it is until you actually try it um nothing and that is it for today with this being said it will be on to the next